And this year, it's drum roll, Mr. Chris Pitts. Congratulations, Chris. I think Chris is on the line with us. We'll cut to him in a second and uh, at least let him wave at us. But but I want to tell you a few things about Chris before uh, before we see his face. You know, Chris is, is clearly open to change, which is one of our high-performance culture attributes. Chris started his career as a rigger, and then he was a forklift operator, a crane operator, a materials coordinator, a dispatcher, a crew lead, a loading coordinator, and a logistics lead. So Chris, over his 12 years, has held all these different jobs and has really learned and grown his way through the industry. A few things that people have said about Chris is he's always been a great teacher to our crews. And I think that's perfect because that's all about how do we respect people? How are we developing them to solve our customers' challenges? He's really living into our purpose and our values. Somebody else said about Chris that he is the ultimate Dallas employee due to his positive and contagious attitude. Somebody else said he lives our purpose to a T and is a person of integrity. Another person said he's very positive no matter what he's faced with. And then one, lastly, one of our ops managers called him a true team player. So Chris, I am uh, I'm proud to have you recognized as our 2019 Dallas Field Employee of the Year. I'm proud to have you as a member of our, our team for 12 years and all the things that you've done along the way and the way that you represent us. And I think you're sort of tip of the spear. You represent what lots of men and women who are on this call today and others who can't join us do uh, in the field for us and helping to solve our, our company purpose. So I want to congratulate you and I uh, wish I could shake your hand, uh, but we'll do that in person sometime. And in the meantime, if we can, I'd love to love to see Chris's face up on the screen. What's up, big guy? Congratulations. Thank you. This, this is an honor. Um, I mean, I could go all the way back for 12 years, Mr. Michael, working with you. You know, it, it starts from leadership, and i got to give you all the thanks. Uh, they molded me into the person I am today with the values that uh, that I have and, and, and able to give to the customer. So I want to thank you all, and especially you, Mr. Michael. I mean, you, you really instilled a lot of values in me, working hands in hands with you. Hello. Congratulations to you. Uh, it's, uh, hey, the horse got to drink the water once you lead him there, right? So appreciate you believing in me, believing in us, and believing in what you do. You're a testament of what uh, our values, our purpose, and our vision is about. So, and you wear the, you wear the beard pretty nicely, too. <laughs> it's time to go home. These 28 days are rough. <laughs> hey, great um, job, Chris. Congratulations again, man. Proud to have you. Thank you. And not just Mr. Mike. I mean, along the way, you know, we had, uh, we had Mr. King and, and we have Mr. Matt now, and both of them instilled different qualities of, you know, as a as a manager. Um, and I took those qualities and tried to, to adapt them in my everyday work work scope. So I appreciate y'all too. Hey, thanks again. Congratulations, Chris. Thank you. Thank y'all. It's an honor to work for Danos. Chris, just want to offer up my congratulations again on your field employee year for 2019. Uh, it was great hearing your name get announced last week by Eric, and it was great listening to your story and how it's evolved since you came to Danos in 2005 to where you are today. I know it's a very proud accomplishment, and I know you've stayed humble and you're appreciative, and you definitely embody our values, vision, and purpose at Danos. Uh, got to see you firsthand in action last year when you were uh, working the Thunder Horse hurricane evacuation teams, and, and I could see the amount of respect and integrity and customer service you provided not only to, to Danos employees for Thunder Horse, but to BP also. So that, that just goes to show that you, you do embody the one team aspect for both Danos and BP. And I just want to offer up my congratulations again, and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. I know it's not the right set of circumstances right now. I wish we were doing this face to face. But hey, I, I look forward to your continued growth within our company too. Congratulations, Chris. Hi, we'd like to congratulate Chris Pitts for winning the Dwayne Hall Carroll Field Employee of the Year Award for Danos. Uh, when we think about Chris, just like Hall, we think about Danos. Chris has always exemplified the values of Danos throughout his career from when he started at the docks in Fouchon all the way through uh, today where he's he's a deep water clerk for us in the Gulf of Mexico. So congratulations, Chris. Uh, well deserved. Keep up the great work. 
Chris Pitts, wow. You know, for me, uh, it's hard to think, think of anything but positive when I hear Chris Pitts' name, you know. Chris Pitts is a true definition of someone working and living through our values and purpose, right? Uh, integrity, improvement, service, honor God. Chris Pitts is all of that. You know, um, Chris Pitts, I remember he worked his way up on, on one of our uh, yards down in Fushon from a rigger all the way up, all the way up to the logistics lead that he is now on one of the biggest and baddest assets in the deep water uh, within the oil and gas industry. So Chris Pitts uh, is, is nothing but positive when I hear that name. And I want to congratulate you for winning our Field Employee of the Year well-deserved and uh, continue to do what you do, Chris. So the winner this year is selected from the finalists by the owners who were joined by Tommy Maye, who's a former winner and retiree. And we consider how these men and women uh, represent our culture and our purpose and our values and also what it is they've accomplished. And so we evaluate and look at all these things. And I have to tell you, it's a hard process because this is a really, really great group of people. And in, in, in perfect honesty, any one of them could be up on the wall and represent uh, us as a company. And I'd be proud to have them represent us. So the winner today will join a group of winners dating all the way back to the first award in 1994. So that's 26 years worth of Danos Staff Employee of the Year Award winners. Okay, so that's the backstory and the back information. The 2019 Employee of the Year is Ms. Melanie Boudreaux. Yay for Melanie. Uh, this is kind of awkward, right? We've got to do a virtual clap here. Um, but let me tell you a little bit about Melanie. Mel started with us in, in 2015, and she made an immediate impact on our organization. Melanie was nominated her first year of employment and every year since for Staff Employee of the Year. She's been nominated a total of 12 times in just the, the five years that she's been here. So we had a lot of information to evaluate uh, as it pertains to Melanie. And some of the things that stood out to me, if I had to summarize, was that she's respected, she's hardworking, she's poised and she's committed. And these are words I'd be proud for anybody to say about me, certainly about uh, our employee of the year this year. Mel has represented us well, both in the best of times and in the worst of times, she's been tried by fire and refined and shown to be true to what we stand for. Someone said about Mel that she never settles for second best. She wants that for Danos, not for herself. That's what makes her and so many others like her so great is that we're serving a purpose that's greater than ourselves. And I can see that in Mel. She's knowledgeable about her job task and she's willing to challenge others to get the best outcome. You know, it's been said about Mel by someone that she stands up for what is right. So we've called on her and asked her to do a lot. And each time she has met or exceeded our expectations. One person said about her that she has strength and compassion. And this year, we needed both of those things from her. She's a problem solver and she's a master at living our value of improvement. She's also a humble leader and her team has supported in saying that she coaches and develops them and really encourages people to rise up through the organization. So Mel said, these have been the words of other people, but Mel said about herself that 2019 will go down as one of the most challenging in her career. Mel, I hope it also goes down as one of the most rewarding in your career. So Mel, great job. Congratulations to you everybody that was nominated, all the finalists, but in particular, you as our winner of the 2019 Staff Employee of the Year. Hey Mel, congratulations on winning Staff Employee of the Year. I am so thankful and blessed to have you as a supervisor. I know that I would not be where I am today without you. You inspire me every day with your hard work, dedication, and knowledge. I look forward to working with you for years to come. So thank you, 
and congratulations. Melanie is one of those people who have it all together, but she doesn't make those of us who don't feel bad that we don't have it all together. I've seen her observe the situation. Her response is always thought out, calm, collective. And if she doesn't know the answer, she flashes that great smile and puts your mind at ease. I found out that things in the past were going on in Melanie's personal life, and she never brought it to work and never alluded to things going on in her life. But if things are going on in your life, she's great to talk to. She always has a good response, and she listens well. Mel and I have had many conversations about spirituality and our deep faith. And Danos' purpose of honor God and develop great people to solve big challenges certainly aligns with Melanie's actions. Melanie's a great friend and a great coworker. And I'm happy to hand over my Employee of the Year parking space to her. <laughs>